Hey everyone, Alec from Shape Gaming here. Lately I've been focusing my content creation on World of Warcraft players that are newer to the healing classes. When I first started healing seriously, one thing that I found helpful and that I strongly feel every good healer needs is a way to manage their party frames, healing, and keybinds. Over the next couple minutes, I'm going to provide a quick overview of Voodoo, which is a healing add-on. By the time you finish watching, you should have all the tools to modify your own basic setup to continue on your healing journey. If you find this video helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving it a thumbs up. So let's start with an overview. Voodoo is an add-on that allows you to manage your party panels. It allows you to manage your healing keybinds, set up your visual cues such as hots, dispels, other CDs, and much more. There are other options such as the built-in panels in LVUI, Blizzard's updated UI, and Healbots. However, I'm going to focus on Voodoo since I find it to be one of the more user-friendly options. The first thing we'll need to do is download Voodoo from the Curse Forge application. Once you've downloaded that add-on, you should have an icon located somewhere near your minimap. Click on the panel to open it. When you have the main panel open, you'll notice there are tabs across the bottom as well as options in the right hand side navigation. The right hand side navigation options will change depending on which tab you have selected. Since we're focused on a quick review of the basics, we're only going to pay attention to some of the primary options that I find are best to get us up and running. We're going to take a look at a few options within the general, spells, panels, colors, tools, and move tabs. Starting with the general tab, you'll find many of the basic behaviors that Voodoo will follow based on how you set them up. I leave almost all of these defaulted. There's only one item that I update because the default can be annoying and take up too much space on your party panels. Select the indicators option within the advanced section on the right hand navigator. There's an option called special dot which is defaulted to the roll icon. The default for this icon is quite large and can be frustrating especially if you're in a raid with up to 25 party frames showing. In order to change the size, we'll click on the more button and modify the scale. And that's it for this tab. Moving on to the spells tab, this is one of the most important tabs where we'll spend time setting up all of our keybinds. Within this tab, the basic changes we want to make are within the mouse and miscellaneous options. Starting with the mouse option, this is where you'll be able to assign your heals, major cooldowns, or other spells such as dispel. Setting spells in these slots will allow you to hover your cursor over your party panels to cast them. Within this option, there's a modifier key section, a mouse wheel section, and a mouse key section. To set your spells, you'll simply type in the spell name in the mouse wheel or mouse key section along with the modifier. There are more advanced ways to set up macros here as well, however our focus is on the basics. The modifier defines the keys that need to be held in combination with your mouse wheel or mouse key. For example, my Life Cocoon spell is set to my Shift modifier plus my mouse wheel down. So if I hold Shift and scroll my mouse wheel down over my panel, my Life Cocoon will cast. Another example would be my Tiger's Lust, which is set to the Shift modifier plus my right click. One important tip is to set one of your mouse options to the word Target. What this will allow you to do is give you the option to click on your party frames without casting a spell. you notice that when I don't set a target option, I can't click on any of my party frames. Normally I like to set a healing spell on my left click without a modifier key. For my Mistweaver, I like to have this set to Soothing Mist. However, if I were to remove Soothing Mist and not add a target word, I still can't actually click on any of my party frames to target them. For all of my healers, I set my target on the shift modifier plus my left click. Now you'll see that I have set this when I hold shift and left click, it allows me to click on a frame without casting a spell. For most of my healers, I find that the non and shift modifier keys provide me with enough options for my important spells. However, you can make this as complex as you'd like. The only other option within the spells tab that we need to cover is within the miscellaneous option. Within the smart cast section, we want to unselect the cleanse option. If you don't turn this off, anytime you have a target that has a debuff that you can cleanse, when you try to click a healing spell on them, it will first cleanse them. This can be frustrating and ruin your rotation, because there are instances where you may not want to use your cleanse. With this turned on, you would lose a global cooldown to cleanse a target that could potentially throw you off. Moving over to the Panels tab, this contains all of the options for our panels look and feel. The general option allows you to format how your panels are ordered. I normally keep the default values here. The sizing option is pretty self-explanatory. It simply allows you to manually modify the size of your party frames. Once you've determined a good size for your panels, I suggest you use the panel scale option to change size from now on. This is most useful when moving from a 5-man group to a raid and back. The bars option allows you to modify what the individual panel bars look like. One thing that I always change is setting the bar color to class color, but this is an optional change. We're going to skip over headers, targets, and tooltips and look at our text option. The text option controls the text that sits on top of our frames. In my example, I have total HP and character name. The text position and bar text allow you to reposition the text and select your fonts and sizes. 
The show text allows a few options for the type of text you might want to show, such as class. The hit points section allows you to modify how HP is viewed. I normally like to set mine to remaining, but there are definitely reasons why we might want to change this to percent, missing, or total. Now that we have the text set up, the only other option we'll spend time looking at is the hots icon. The hot icons option is where we display what hots we want to see and how we want them to display on our panels. We're going to look at these options a little backwards since seeing the views and timers depends on actually having hots set up to display. Let's take a look at the hots order section. Here you'll use the drop down to select the hots that you want to display. Luckily, Voodoo should pull in the hot options available to your class. In my example, you can see the options that are presented as a misweaver. For all the hots, we want to turn the own option on so that your hots display on all of your panels. For now, we can ignore the others option. Moving up to the text options section, you can use the timer and stacks options to modify what the timers or stacks on your hots look like. For example, if I cast Renewing Mist and open the timer section, I can modify what the icon text looks like. Finally, the own hots section allows you to determine where you want hots to display and what you want icons to look like. Our next tab is colors. Here we're only going to focus on one item, which is the hots option. When we go to this option, we should see the various hots that we set up in the previous tab. This controls the countdown of your hots. I personally like seeing the entire duration of my hots so that I can plan for when I need to recast them without unnecessarily expending mana. To do that, we'll select the seconds bubble for each of our hots and then click the full duration box. With that out of the way, let's move over to the tools tab. We're only going to spend time looking at the Profiles option. The Profiles option will allow you to apply your current setup to other healers. For instance, if I move to my Priest, I could apply the settings for my Mistweaver to my Priest, although I would still need to go in and modify the Hot section. The only other suggestion I'll make here is to export your profile and save it on a document somewhere. Every once in a while you may run into issues where Voodoo is acting weird with a new patch or update, so it's helpful to be able to import your profile instead of having to go through all of these manual setup steps again. We finally made it to the last tab in our basic setup, which is the Move tab. This tab allows you to set up what your panel groupings look like. My suggestion is to always keep the current option selected so that you only see your party panels based on your current group size. For example, if I'm in a Mythic Plus group, it will only display 5 panels, and when I'm in a raid, it will display up to 25 depending on the size of our group. Within the groups, you have a plus option which adds another panel group to this cluster and the red X that obviously gets rid of them. If you select the choose button on one of your groups, you'll get additional options which allows you to control how players are grouped. For instance, you can group based on group, class, or special, and you'll notice that when you select a different group option, we get additional selections. Typically, I'll leave this all defaulted, but there are certainly scenarios where you might want to modify your groups. One tip that I would highly suggest is setting up a focus panel. To do that, we would click add a new panel, Click the green plus button on the new panel. And then we want to choose special and focus. This will allow us to set a focus in case we need to utilize our healing keybinds. An example of where this was particularly useful was in dungeons like Temple of Sethralis. If you recall that dungeon, the last boss had an intermission phase where you had to heal the boss to a certain percentage of health. Without a focus bar set up, you would have to manually click on him and then manually select each spell to cast. What you could do with this focus panel is set the boss as your focus before the fight started, allowing you then to use your spell keybinds to heal them via that panel. Well, there you have it. We've covered the minimum basic options for beginning to set up your Voodoo add-on for healing. I can promise that once you set this up and spend a little time practicing your healing via these panels and spell keybinds, you'll find that you have an easier time managing your target and group healing. It should also speed up your healing reaction time because you won't have to manually target team members and then click on the appropriate spells that you want to cast, saving you additional seconds between your heals. I hope that you found this content helpful and learned something new. Let me know if you have any questions, thoughts, or feedback, and if there's any other healing content out there that you'd like me to cover.